Okay, so we have this set up now. Now what we need to work on is the actual fission reactor and the turbine generator. So let's collect our quests. Oh, look, we got stuff and things. Isn't that something? Very nice. We got stuff and things and a reward from Corail. We got a plague bringer. Look at that. Okay, wow, we have a lot of Nether Quartz Essence. Is our machine over here working? Or our uh, things down here? Yeah, they're they're doing the do. All right. Uh, we have speeds. Do we have speeds in each of these? Yeah, okay, so those are keeping up, I think. Clearly, it's not crafting it as often as it needs to. Why not? Why aren't you just crafting all the time, dude? Come on. You should just always be crafting. You're on extract only. Why? Why aren't you working? Do. Can we not make any? Oh, it's because we're missing stone essence. Well, shoot. What else is using stone essence over here? Nothing. You telling me stone essence is getting output that slow? What else are we storing that's using stone essence? Because sand and dirt and fire are used for glass. There's nothing else in here that is used that is using stone essence, right? Not that I can recall. These are just running full time. That's okay. So are you. That is good. Oh man. I don't I don't even know. Anyway, we need to do this. Work on the fission reactor and turbine reactor. So let's grab the parts that are related to the turbine, I guess. Let's shove some of this stuff away. Get out of my face. Okay, so we need the turbine casing. No, we don't need the turbine casing. We need the fission reactor first. So, go into here. This is what we need right here. The fission reactor. Don't we have... Yeah, we do. Okay, so these... Well, not the turbine valves. And also, I think the saturating condensers also go on the turbine. Let's take all of this stuff, because I believe we're going to need it. Turbine vents also are for the turbine. I don't think anything else in here goes towards it. So what else do we need? We're going to need the reactor, fission reactor casing and glass. Okay. So, uh, all right. <laughs> so we're going to need to build some of these. Oh, those aren't even, they're not even on that side. Okay. So let's boop, boop. Let's go here. Make, we need to make a ton of these. So let's make a ton of casings and hopefully it'll make more steel let's just go into here and tell it to craft a ton of steel so now this should just continuously craft steel for us well eventually it'll eventually make the steel it's gonna make the enriched iron first dang it we gotta wait Oh man, that was loud. Okay, so let's just go ahead and chuck all these out. Those are mine. We have 42 of those. It means we're going to need more steel. Dang. Oh, we're getting steel. There we go. Very nice. Okay, so we have steel coming in now. Okay, we have some steel. Let's make some more steel casings and make more of these. So we needed 53. What does the glass take? Oh, it takes these. Wait, that's not the glass. It takes enriched iron. So we need a ton of enriched iron as well. I see. Okay, well, good thing we have that set up. Let's just make a ton of that. Uh-oh. It's going to use it for crafting the steel too. Just, just do do the thing. Make all of the steel dust. You're making the steel dust up here, right? Yeah. 
We really need to upgrade this crafter. It is not outputting fast at all. Can we do a stack upgrade on here? No. Maybe I just upgrade this. Hey, move, Cluckington. Thanks. Oh. Oh, man. Now we need our mob yoinker. Come here. Yoink. Put you down. There you go. Stay, stay there. Be safe. Let's grab this. Oh, man. So many patterns. Okay, let's upgrade this thing. Do we not know how to make these via the system? You dang it. Wait, was it in this furnace? Yeah, it was. Oh, well, not that one, though. That one was not. Okay. Let's uh tell it how to make this, then. And we'll also tell it how to make this. So it can make that. So you go there. And I guess we need to replace this down with that so we can tell it to make those now let's craft i guess eight of these we need more you need to learn how to make crafting tables man come on you should know how to do that uh what what logs do we have the most of dark oak so let's tell it how to do this and then tell it how to do this. Learn how to make a crafting table, bud. Okay, so now we should be able to make eight of these. Yeah, go. Make them now. There we go. Now we can upgrade this, hopefully. There we go. And that one, and let's just go all the way up to netherite. Is there a next level? Nope. All right. That's, that's fine. We just need this to be faster. More faster. Boop. Boop. Okay. All those are in there. Yeah. Do it faster. Speeds. Now, whenever things are going, they should go very fast through here. I hope. Do, 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 do. Yeah, they should go really fast in there um, whenever we put stuff in there now. Okay, so we needed this reactor glass. How many did it say we needed? 40 or something? We'll just make 44. 41, 53. Now we're going to need fission reactor ports. And eventually we're going to need the vision fuel assemblies and control rod assemblies okay so i know we're gonna need four of these let's make four of these and we're gonna need to make some more of these can i i really want to tell us to store steel casings as well so let's do that you store and we're gonna put that in here and we're gonna go down to our mechanism Thingy majig. It's not storing any yellow cake uranium. Are we out of uranium? We might be. Which means we do need to make the seeds. That's one of the things I was going to allow myself. Steel casing. 64. Make all of them and make steel. There we go. We have steel casings. I mean, that was a because of a bunch of steel that we had crafted. But that is all right. So we have four of these. And we also have 44 of that, 54 of that. How much did it say we needed by default? Two and one. So one control rod assembly to sit on top. So we'll go ahead and make five of these maybe. And then we will make the fuel assemblies. Whoops. We'll just make a ton of these. Boom. I think 15 is fine. So that's three per control rod assembly. So we can do a nice big boy. All right. Now it's telling me to make hazmat stuff, which have to do with radiation. What is this? Oh, okay. 
Advanced power storage. The Matrix. Whoa. Oh, man. I've never done that. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and make the vision. How do you even get into this chapter? Here? No. Is this... Oh, this is for the turbine. The ports. The industrial turbine. We're gonna need those. We already have this one done. Ob observe a fissile fuel in a machine. We already did that. We already did all of this. Well. Okay, we're gonna need to make some sinks. What is this? Dye? Is there a good... Oh, I can make orange dye from Walden spikes. Do I have some? Okay. Let's make a hazmat suit, I guess. Just to have one. Pants. And the boots. Okay. Unfashionable, but smart. Alright. Now I think we can go ahead. What is this? Is that an item to make? A Geiger counter. Oh, for radiation, I suppose. Let's just make one. Now we need to go build the fission reactor. Let's do this. Uh... I might want to go... I'm just probably going to build it in the corner here. We're going to build it... Uh, five by five. Whoop. We're going to probably need more casing here. If we're going to be building it like this. Yeah, we're definitely going to need more. Let's make some more then. We will build this up. I have never done this before, so I will probably make it in a bad way. But it's all for learning. I just hope that my world doesn't explode. Okay, now we need these reactor ports. Or these, the l reactor ports. Let's look at this. So it has these on the front. So they have them here and here. And the reactor logic adapters these go on the side how did it have those I'd like to see it oh like that all right so we have one two three four so we can do is this gonna be so one two three and then we can put the port there then we should can you do glass on top I don't know let's just do this and we'll do the glass there and we'll do that there okay this was for safety so the piston redstone observer so observer and then they have redstone and then a piston up ravel redstone like that mm. I don't know how this works. We can create a simple circuit breaker to trip and turn off the reactor in case things get a little crazy. We'll want to put a logic adapter down and then skip a block above it and then place another adapter. Set the top adapter to activation and the bottom adapter to damage critical. How do you... How do? Oh, do I have to... I probably have to activate the entire structure for that to work. Okay. So I can put glass on the top. All right. Let's just do that then. And then I believe I can just fill this in with glass as well. I don't know where else we put these ports. Maybe we do one on the front and one on the side. S2 there. So let's just put two more here, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, but we will learn. I'm going to need more of this. Give me more. Okay, now we need to place these fuel assemblies. And on top of that, we need to have the 
control rod. I do remember from other reactors, I wonder if this is the same, that it's good to have them with a block in between for heat dissipation. I hope it's the same here. That would be pretty cool, I think. So let's do that. Then we will fill this up. Oh, it did it. Okay, let's break this. And this needs to be... Was this activation? Is that what that said? Set the top to activation. Okay. And this one to... Damage critical. All right. Now take the observer again and place that there. Okay. Now we need to not touch this. Uh, before we have a sink. Because I'd like to not blow up my world. So we need a kitchen sink. I'll just make two. Just in case I need them. Uh, we're going to need a kitchen sink. Maybe here. And... This needs water. This is for gas. So we need the other mechanism pipe. Uh, do we have any left? We do. Oh, it's right here. Okay. So we need to do this, right? And that. And fill this up. Yeah. Okay, we're going to need radioactive waste barrel. Is there anything you can do with the waste? Like, after you build the waste barrel, is there anything else you can do? So we have the waste barrel. Oh, this will slowly decay the gas. Will cause a radiation leak that includes the products of nuclear waste like polonium and plutonium. Okay, so we want to pipe out nuclear waste. Is nuclear waste a liquid? Waste tank. What is this store? Capacity 512. Is it liquid? I, I'm assuming it's liquid because it would be with water, right? So we will probably set it up to over here. And then maybe we'll just have three barrels over here. Boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Does it need to go into the top? Or is it just the wrong thing? Oh. Maybe it needs to go into the top. That might be it. Oh. No. Is it... Oh, it might be a gas. Okay. It's for pressurized tubes. Okay. Alright. Well, I think that means we need more pressurized tubes. So let's make some more. Okie dokie. And then we will just go up top here. And hopefully you guys will take the waste. We don't have any fuel. We need to get the fuel over here. Is this a gas? It's fissile fuel. Is it a gas though? I don't know. Because if it's not, then I can just store it in my network. Let's try to store it in my network, I guess. Oh, we need a freaking importer. Here we go. So, can I just... Oh, hold on. Can I output out of the top? No. Oh, it's gas. Okay, so it is a gas. Which means I cannot store it in my system. Alright. Pressurized tube. So we're going to need more of these again. Let's just make more, I suppose. And I'll probably go under with this. So we'll go into here and we'll go under here. And we will do the same for here. Down. And we'll go under there. Let me under there. Let me under there. Okay, so we're going to go here. And this away. Is this it right here? I think so. Okay, like that. Now we need to come over here. Check this. And make it output. 
Oh no, it's out of the back. So take input from this and then output. Yes, maybe. No, oh, auto eject on, yeah. Oh, gas, output, there we go. Now it's outputting into this and this should be filling up. There we go. It is, okay. Sweet, you are set up kind of, but we probably need a safety mechanism for this. And we'll just, we'll just leave it like that. Okay, we have our waste barrels. I don't know how much waste is gonna get output. So we'll just leave it like this for now. We have this cool little safety thing that it told us to do over here. So yeah, we built this little safety thing. Is the face facing the piston? No, that would have been bad. And then do that. Nice. What the hell was that? Did it turn on for a moment? Ooh, it's making noise. All right, we're not gonna touch that. Oh my goodness, this thing is loud. I need to uh, turn that down, goodness. Okay, it's a bit quieter now for me. This is cooking up dope in the crock pot. This is still filling up and we're getting some coolant. All right, what happens if we scram it? That's an off, right? Okay, it's just disabled, so it's still filling up. We have no damage, that's good. We scrammed it, we turned it off. Okay, so we have the basic reactor here. We have five fuel rods in there. The way that we, so this this system is something that I, I understand why we have it, but I don't, I don't mess with redstone or observers much, but essentially what this is gonna do, right, is whenever this detects critical damage then what it'll do is it'll put this uh gravel in front of the observer and the observer will then send a redstone signal to that block and it should turn off the system that's what i'm thinking and then as soon as critical damage is no longer seen it will stop sending a redstone signal pull this down and then the observer will turn stop sending its signal and then the system should turn back on. For the fission reactor here, you need to put water in as the coolant. So we have water being put in from the infinite water source that is the sink. Then it also produces nuclear waste. So for the nuclear waste, we have it set up to these barrels. I believe I might've done this wrong because it is not outputting the nuclear waste and that is unfortunate so this might be a an oopsies can i change it there we go oh i just needed to change the valve to output waste okay so it did work all right so what i did was i took the configurator crouched and then i right clicked it and then i set this one to output waste you can see the color change is different there so let's see this one Output waste, output coolant, input only. So output waste, output coolant, input only. That's what those are. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so we have that done. We're looking good up here. All right. Now we need to work on the turbine. I didn't even need the hazmat suit. Or at least for now, I don't think I need it. Drop that in. We'll drop that. Drop that as well. Clean up our inventory a bit because now we're gonna need to make the turbine. We'll take that, take the vents, and look at the turbine over here. So we have this, we have the electromagnet. Now we need rotors. So we need all of these, and we're gonna need turbine casing and structural glass. Let's check the quest again. Six blades, three rotors. We'll probably build an extra rotor. And then I think that means we need eight blades. So eight blades. Hopefully that will make more steel. I sure hope it does. 
let's check in here again 52 turbine casing 52 structural glass time to make more turbine casings we have how many none we have four do we have any more in here nope okay so we're gonna need to make some more of these oh i made a stack whoops and then structural glass so that should start making steel and then we'll make it afterwards okay let's decide the shape of this probably a five by five again but i also believe we probably want to make it a bit bigger so we can expand it because what i from my understanding you need it to be wider in order to put more turbines so we'll just go off on this i guess maybe we'll just go backwards as well so we'll stop right here because that's where that one stops so that's one two three four five six let's do a seven by seven maybe now we can just do that okay so one two three four five six seven hey come on man you're supposed to be on none okay so that should be by seven right seven by seven yeah okay it's gonna bother me that it's hanging off here oh well just do that <laughs> just do that all right so for this one yeah we're gonna need a bunch more of that good lord so give me a stack make more steel seven i believe we need to have this by nine so one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine up yep this is gonna be a lot of steel but i'd like to prepare for the future so let's go into here and just tell it to craft more steel we'll just craft 512 steel which means it's going to make a ton of enriched iron first but then it should automatically kick the steel dust out it has to cook it twice right yeah burn you silly goobas burn well actually they're just getting chopped up not burned but <laughs> Okay, so we're going to need more of this. Let's just make more. And I'll probably mess this up too. I haven't built this before. But that's okay. Learning process, right? Which I think we're going to need more of these saturation condensers and whatnot. Uh, I believe we're going to need more of this. Rotational complex. Do we already have one of these? nope but we need to wait on the steel we're just waiting on the steel maybe i can just make regular steel dust so yeah we can just craft it like this we don't have another hammer let's just make another hammer then bam okay and i guess we'll just tell this thing to automatically output steel dust maybe let's just boop, chuck that in there oh let's just go to sleep since it's night time let's get back after it okay wow this is a big buoy all righty so we need this rotational complex i don't know what for I believe we're also going to need more of these. Maybe seven. No, we're going to need eight more so we can have nine. I don't know. Oh, no, we do need one more. Whoops. So we have nine of those. I need to check what this looks like. Okay, so there's one electromagnet. And what are these? Are those turbine vents? Is that what that was? So up here we do vents. Do these go all the way in? And what do you ponder with this? Heated coolant to create power. The edges must be made of turbine casings. 
Phases can be casing, structural glass, valves, or vents, turbine valves, pump in steam, or export power. Oh, this is neat. Oh, we one turbine, one rotational complex, pressure dispersers, turbine vents, electromagnetic coils placed on top of the rotational complex, a max of five. Okay. Saturating condensers are used to convert water back into steam. Boom, boom. Turbine vents if needed. Okay, so the top can be turbine vents. Probably just make more than. Um, and we'll just fill in the whole top too. So we're going to need these. Right? Did that go all the way down? Let's ponder that again. Let's do another ponder. Turbine valves pump in steam or export power. So turbine valve. We'll put that here for that. And then we will put this one here. Mm, yeah, we'll just do it here. We'll do the steam right here so we can go into that. All right, and this needs the turbine blades. Can we do more? Yeah, we can make this a bit bigger, yeah. Oh, um, guess we go up a layer? Well, no, because, well, I guess we do, huh? So, let's check this. So, that needs to be there. This can be there. Ah, oh, I see. I'd probably want to go one more high then. So, let's just go ahead and do that. Forgot that it's like double layered on the top. Look at that reach. That's so nice. So we'll go up a layer. We're going to need more of these. Okay. Now let's break these and we'll go up one more layer. And we will make another turbine rotor. And then we need two more turbine blades. Boom, boom. Turbine. And then we will put the rotational complex on here. Then we will do the electromagnets. Like that. Since we can only have five. Now we need... There was another item it said. What was it? Uh, I need to, I guess I need to ponder this again. So pressure dispersers must fill in the layer around the rotational complex. What was that? Pressure dispersers. I don't know how many. So that's going to be around this. So, oh, I guess we can go up one more yeah we can go up one more am i thinking about that properly yeah so we can go up one more with this let's break those break this and this we can do one more rotor and then two more of these for the max height for the turbine for us boom boom okay we could probably even go higher with how we built this, but that's okay for now, since we don't even have it done. Put these all back in here. All right, so we need this, and we're gonna need the pressure dispersers. Yeah, we're gonna need plenty of more of these. And we need two, three more. Okay, so all those around. Then we do the turbine vents. Gonna need more. Okay, turbine vents are there. Now we need the saturation condensers. We need to put this up here. The electromagnetic coils. And let's check the ponder again. Then we'll go here. And then saturating condensers above the coil layer. 
So we just make some more of these. Okay. I don't know how many of these we're going to need. Or what I mean is, I don't know if I need this many. But I will have them regardless. So those are the saturating condensers. All right. And on top, we can do glass. Or it said we could do something else. Top face can be replaced with turbine vents if needed. So if it needs it, meaning I should do it anyway. If it's something that I can do, I should do it. Turbine vents. Okay. Turbine vents are down. This is all good here with its pressure dispersers. Now we can do structural glass. All right. We're going to need we're going to need more of this. Let me get out of there. We're going to need more. Bam. Oh, look, it's done. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, did vents blades limiting. Steam flow dispersers 24 vents 65. Blades 12, coils 5. Blades are limiting. Really? Oh, well, let's hook it up before I do anything. <laughs> We're going to need more mechanical pipes. So let's make some more of these. Ultimate mechanical pipe. I don't, uh, so this can output the steam, right? Oh, oh no, sorry. This takes in steam. Um, can we output from anywhere? Can we output from that? Or does it need to be on a thing? I don't know. Let's figure that out. Telling this to output. Um, and this can output power. So we need cables. Oh, damn it. We have like four of both of those. That sucks. Oh, well. There we go. Okay, that's hooked up. So I placed it this way. So, yep, this should take input and it should do output. All right, that should be good. So uh, now we need to take in steam. Output coolant. Steam. Oh, it already took it all. Okay, so activate. Ooh, that's loud. And you're taking in steam. You're producing some power. What's our burn rate? Our burn rate is 0.1, right? And we're producing... Yeah, we're burning that. We are good on the nuclear waste. Oh, so the nuclear waste decays. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. This is outputting steam. This is taking in steam. It's not producing much power. Let's uh, change the burn rate to one. Okay, so we're at a solid amount now and we're producing 34,000 Fe and we're still slowly filling it up with steam. Is this holding water? Is the limit the amount of steam that we're getting? I hope this is outputting water. It says we have water in it. Oh, but it is potentially getting output? It looks like it is from in here. Are we solid with fissile fuel? Okay, so we're at a solid amount because of how much this is producing. Um, what upgrades can we put on you? Speed and energy. How many machines do we have here? One, two, 
12, 13. Okay, so we need 13 times 8. So, oh, mechanism. Let's do some speed. So we're going to need 104 upgrades, which means 104 osmium dust. Can we craft these? We need 104 speed and 104 energy. Oh, they're slowly getting crafted. Okay. Oh, we already had some, I guess. Well, let's wait for the rest to finish. And we also probably... We also probably want to put a plug. Is it a plug or a point? A plug, right? The plug is the one that allows you to transfer power. Yeah, so we'll put a plug on here as well. And we'll tell it it can output 100k. So this is also on the network and it'll allow us to output. Oh, we have wireless charging on the entire network. That's fine. Off. I mean, we have it off on the entire network. That's fine. We have the player charger still from power doing that for us. But we'll put this on here so we can see this power also. We probably need... Uh, we probably need to get into the this here as well whatever this system is for the end game power uh, but we're not there just yet this is slowly oh it looks like it's like equalized and it's producing 34,000 that's not a bad amount for now um, until we get all of our upgrades is this full what is happening um is this okay is this fine um does this just mean it's radiate irradiated so i shouldn't touch it or break it i took up my armor to see if i took damage i don't know i don't think all the modium armor makes you immune to radiation but just wanted to check how's the water on this oh it has no water in it that's good okay and this is still full this has an even amount of fissile fuel so with no machine upgrades and doing just one at a time it can continue to produce we do need to get oh yeah we're gonna need to get uh uranium seeds yeah that's gonna be a problem so let's make some seeds for this can i uranium essence okay uranium seeds we don't have any uranium though that was a mistake uranium uraninite turns into the dust so i need to go get some whoops that was a mistake on my part time to go mine i guess whoops but we could also turn on the chunk destroyer as well but let's look down here to see if we can find some uranium oh here's some uranium slate there's 136 raw uranium. Okie dokie. Hey, stop that. Let's go home. I need to... Well, don't we have a bunch of that in here? Or did we cook through it all? Oh, we have 20k in here. Damn. Well, I don't really want to mess with this system, unfortunately. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to ruin that. All right screw it let's just cook it and then we'll do uranium seed give me these give me these we'll do this again we'll make two and we'll make some uh prosperity seeds so we'll make two of these seeds so we can have it go in since we're gonna have that turbine we want to have that turbine kick in and we don't want to deal with running out of this yeah, we have 20k raw, but this whole system needs to be upgraded. Maybe we need to just add multiple lines for each specific ore. I think that's something I'll do at some point. But that's going to be a lot of time invested to do that. So I'm not going to do it at the moment. I'd rather finish up this advanced mechanism stuff first. And then we can work on improving that. Okay, we have two uranium seeds. Let's go over here we'll break the wheat and the inferium 
I'm really glad we haven't run out of these yet, but watch, now that I say that, we're gonna start running out of stuff. All right, that's all of that. So, oh, damn it. Now we need to change this to up and down. There and there. There we go. All right. Those should be the correct ones. It's the three right there on this row. Yep. Okay. Perfect. Uranium. Now let's go down here. And we will add uranium to this, like so, and apply. Now we need this to output uranium essence. So output that. There we go. Okay, so now hopefully we'll, we will have some uranium going out that way. Yeah, and once I, once I set up a system for all of these to go into for specifically one ore then i can just remove these nodes well i'll probably leave them here but then we don't have to worry about the transfer i'll probably do it just for a couple i'll do it for like iron copper gold uh the uranium just for the important ones and we'll leave the rest to go through it as normal all right so we did that you're still burning and you're still good to go on the fuel you're still stuck at that much because you need more steam i guess you did that to be more full and you're not even gonna output with that power that's fine okay so we have the upgrades how much uranium do we have so we have 28 that should slowly hopefully start filling up it actually might be a better idea to chuck these in so we'll chuck these in here resort this i guess Chuck all this in here. All right, then we'll do one, two, three. And I will replace this and replace this. We'll just take these out and replace that. Like so. Say goodbye. Aluminum shards. Well. We can just chuck them into here until this one's done. Yep, there we go. And then we will just chuck these back in there. Probably want some gold to go through here too. These laser nodes are mad slow. There's probably a better way to do this math than uh, laser nodes, but I don't know of one yet. Okay, so once this is done, then we'll start getting more uranium. We also probably need to take this and put it into a drawer at the house because we're going to have a shit ton of this. So let's make a compacting drawer. We already have one. Let's do that. Do this, that. We will lock you. Then we will do that. Add. Then take the uranium out, all of it, and then chuck it back in. There we go. Now it should all be on there. Now we need to grab some upgrades, which we have diamond upgrades. So let's do that. And we'll also do that. That. Set all of these up. 21. Ding. We'll set those up. You're good. We'll set you guys up too. All right. And you, that was very loud. What's your limit? 63 million. We're chilling on that. Jeez. You can store 500 million nuggets. So 63 million uranium. All right, sweet. The uranium's cooking through now. That is good to see. So we're going to need to grab the energy upgrades now. They should be done. So we just need that many. Let's go to sleep. And then we'll go upgrade all the machines in the chain. What the hell? Oh, it's a lunar event. Rip. Well, hopefully no monsters are by my stuff. Yep, we're good. Okay, sweet. All right, let's go through here and upgrade some machines.
hydrogen chloride can't go fast enough? Is that what's happening here? Oh, this can't keep up. The exporter can't keep up. <laughs> That's a good problem to have, I guess. Leave me alone. Okay, so this exporter can't keep up with that. I think I have a better one in here. There we have the elite. So I guess we'll just upgrade this to the ultra. Do we have the brine bucket still? Sure hope we do. Yes, we do. Okay, so break that. Place that there. Fluids brine this is full speed not enough energy to run at max what does that mean from the cable this thing can't put output enough energy you serious really that's insane Okay, so six for the electrolytic. Not enough power. I guess we need to uninstall some of these. This is still good. You're good now. You're using 10K. You're keeping up. What about you? 1.6. Oh, we need uh, gas upgrades too. Rip. I forgot about those. What about you? Do you need one? No. Do you? No. Okay. Well, this needs gas upgrades, so it's more efficient. You're still running into power issues. Really? Can I remove one more? And we're still okay here? Yep. Okay, so we're still good here. Okie dokie. What about you? Maybe we reduce you down too. Reduce you down. Nope. What are we behind on? Sulfur? Ah, uh, we need to upgrade the chemical injection chamber. Damn. Yeah, we need this to uh, do more at once. Auto split. Now it's using more chlorine than we're producing. So let's put another speed upgrade in here. Should be good now. Yep, we're equalized. Okay. Yep. Output auto eject. Hopefully this keeps up. It might not. We'll see. So that works. Yeah, we're bottlenecked here. Maybe we need to upgrade this all the way. No, oh, it's it's good. The chemical oxidizer. Can we upgrade that? Can you upgrade even further? No. Do we just need another chemical oxidizer? We might. We might need another one. So we can produce more. But I think we are chilling. How's we have an extra hundred and eighty four K. Okay, the this is the problem right now. It can't output fast enough. Max output 102,000 hour. So that's not good. Let's reduce that. Are you fine? You're fine over here. You're just waiting on sulfuric acid. Well, we can also put gas upgrades on you, so you're better with gas. There we go. So you're sped up. Can't do that to you. You're as good as you can be. This thing is going to drain us of uranium, though, of with this speed. How much uranium would be up to? And this is just because we have it cooking right now. Um, 
So let's slow this one down. Eh, screw it. We'll leave it at full speed. Full speed ahead. You're doing your best. You're slow because of this, the chemical oxidizer. You're getting filled up. That's good. But the chemical oxidizer is a handicap. Piece of shit. So we placed it like this then? Okay. And then we can take a logistical transporter. Do that. Tell this to heck off. And we'll tell this, we need to do the same config. So, input. None. Gas. We're gonna, where are we outputting on this one for gas? On the left. So, gas, output, left. And we'll do a pressurized pipe here. Bam. Now, we come into here. Oh, we need upgrades. Do eight of those. Eight of these. Now, we need to give this some power. So, we'll just do a flux point on that. Maximum 10k. How much are you using? 800. So, just do a thousand then. Okay. You should take... Is this outputting as fast as it can for this one? You're taking input. There we go. Okay, we just had to force it to, to get output like that. And now it's working faster. So this is working now. Filling this up a bit more. So stuff's actually coming in. Yeah, having to go through the injecting factory is really slowing down the process here. Let's see gunpowder. We still have a thousand. Oh, we're not going to be able to keep up with this exporter. Unless we do that. There we go. We should be able to keep up now with a stack upgrade in there. Alright, we have more fuel. How much do we have in reserve? I need to calculate how much extra we're producing so I can tell this to go faster. Let's try a burn rate of five. Oh yeah, we're, we're chilling. We're producing 171 KFE per tick now. Very nice. Beautiful. Can we, we can probably push this even further, huh? Well, hold on, we gotta keep an eye on the nuclear waste. We have three barrels here. It looks like we will max out with the nuclear waste. Uh, so we might need to make more. Let's just make nine radioactive barrels so we can be prepared. I don't know exactly how many we're gonna need, but let's set up a lot. These are pressurized, we have six, so. Let's do that and hope that it'll, oh, is this an, a good amount? Yes, okay, so we evened it out. There we go, you see how it's ticking down? That means we have enough barrels to handle the amount of nuclear waste we're outputting and it can still decay in time. That's good. How much were we producing? 171K and we're still limited by the vents and the blades. We're not holding any water. That's really good. Can we pump this to burn more? Let's burn 10. How's our nuclear waste now? We're going up. We're not, we don't have enough barrels. Time to make more barrels. Let's just make nine more. <laughs> Let's just make all of these barrels. I just want to uh, be safe. So we need more pressurized. The only problem we're gonna have right now, I think is we're gonna run out of uranium. So let's grab more. We'll probably make more seeds later. All right, so we, yeah, these are all filling up. So let's connect some more and hope that we're good now. All right, we're good now. Maybe it's uh, nine barrels per five, I think is a good estimate. So per five burn rate, you do nine and that sounds like it's a good amount. 
We probably need to tone this thing here down as well. As long as we are keeping positive here by a lot. Yeah, because this is what's ultimately going to keep the system going. So let's tone that down again. And we're still pretty solid. Okay, and this is working at 16 times speed. We could probably tone everything else in the network down too. But this is good for 10. This is producing 340,000 FE. That's really awesome. So we have 342,000 FE going per tick. Dude, let's just freaking... We'll do 300,000 for that. There we go. So anything using power will give this negative one priority. So negative one means this should be used first. I think that's what that means. Oh yeah, it's spinning now. Look at that. It's spinning in now. Oh wow, man, that's so cool. What in the world? Look at that over there. Oh, the, the water is gone. <laughs> so we can see the coral through the glass. Nice. Okay. Well, we're all good here. This thing is running. We are good to go. Our nuclear waste is at a nice burn rate. So it doesn't look like it's going to be running over and causing any kind of wackadoo explosions. We're good with the amount of water we're getting. The fissile fuel is positive. You can tell by looking at the pipe. We're still flowing with fissile fuel. This is producing 342,000 FE per tick. And we're not even close to maxed out on what this thing can do. That is so awesome. Our main bottleneck right now is definitely over here with the chemical oxidizers and the amount of stuff we can output into here. But, I mean, we're still freaking good on the sulfuric acid, hydrofluoric. Yeah, no, we're still good over here. The main problem we're going to run into is I think our uranium is going to run out. Because even though we have two uranium seeds, I don't think that's going to be enough to keep up with that system. With how fast this thing is burning. Yeah, it's it's cooking. So let's let's reduce this down like I said I was going to do. And so this burns a bit slower. Because man, that's going to... It's going to eat up. It's going to eat up our uh, uranium. But at least we have seeds growing them but we probably want to place a ton of seeds we probably want to go over here on the farm and just raise it all the way up and add more and more layers of everything we need and probably do a, a line of each so like a line of uranium a line of nether quartz etc etc so for each one i think that would be a good idea because we're definitely bottlenecked here too we have a few bottlenecks that we need to take care of but ultimately wow we did it we set up the fission reactor and the turbine generator. This is freaking crazy. I've never done this before, so I'm super hyped and super excited to have it done. Oh, that's so cool. Oh man, look at this thumbnail moment, question mark. I think this is because the whole system is running. We'll do that. Hell yeah, dude. That's so awesome. I'm so glad. I hope you were able to learn something alongside me. I'm not an expert at this part of the mod, but I did try to explain the process as I was going through it. So I hope that helped. I hope you learned how to do this. I'm going to stop right here because man, that was a very difficult time. And I think I do need a break now, but it was also really awesome. And we have it working. There's a few things that we want to work out to make sure that this, it just continues to run and we won't run into any issues with running out of uranium, gunpowder. We want to fix any bottlenecks that we have, but we're going to save that for next time, and then we're going to go around and improve a lot more of the stuff that we have. We'll probably build up the farm over there. So we have a lot more still that we can do. We can also improve the, mo uh, the ore factory over there and maybe get into the last part of the ore factory so we can multiply our ore even more. But we're going to save that for next time. As always, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate it. I hope you're doing well, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.